Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. God. Place of we power. might have been burned alive. Should draw from somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah. Uh, bygone days. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on.
Someone walked through the mead. off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bark Knox! Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Arnvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Saris on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boone of Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. It was your father who called for the feast who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Sarah and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Werner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yeah. Yet another uncrate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. 
A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. I'm sorry, Ceres. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. And that's if it was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svan Riga, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. Well, long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Some would see another in my place. 
I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. She didn't skimp on my voice, as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said, strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So, I thought, perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. they give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. Try to cure you some other way, give you potions or herbs. Hm, not just mute, seems he's deaf too. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me, hold up some fingers? Ah, oh, charming man. Hm, doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. 
Talking won't get me anywhere. Say something if I put out Maybe his fire. Give him a smack once he's asleep. Doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Thank you. 